So in this video, I will show you how you can add audio effects to DaVinci Resolve on your iPad. And first of all, the problem is the following. Because we have all the pages, so basically not just the color and the cut page, we also have the Fairlight page. And everyone who comes from desktop and laptop who wants to jump right into audio, they will go to the Fairlight page. Which makes sense because you can add sound libraries and everything here in the Fairlight page. And it's designed for audio. But because it's officially not released yet, this is the page that has the most work to be done. Let's be honest. And maybe in a couple of updates, we can use all of this, but the main problem that we have here is the mixer. The mixer is everything that shows here. It's just not there. So everything you need the mixer for. So even if you find workarounds and everything, there's actually a way how you can access most of the sound effects that DaVinci Resolve has here on the cut page or even the edit page. So first of all, if you go here to the cut page and you go to effects here on the top, you actually have here a couple of different categories, video, audio, generators, favorites and everything. But in audio, you will find all the audio effects that you can use. You can just drag and drop them onto your clip or you can drag and drop them to your track. So that means, for example, if we look for a limiter and we drag this to your track, now this one will open up. A limiter is basically, you can limit how loud something clips it does it, so that it doesn't go over. So let's say, for example, for the whole track, we want to have it as minus five. Whatever pop sound and or you're screaming or whatever, nothing will be louder than minus five if we start clipping there. And it will also show you here. So it will also show you this here on the curve every time when it goes something up. So I could even increase the input here. Now you see this is all clipping. And then the compression is just too high. So you don't want something like this, but you can increase the input level here to gain or boost your whole track. I'm normally not doing this. Let's just reset that one, double click on level. What I like to do is actually use a multiband compressor and I put this one on top of here. And then I can change a little bit even my low, mid and high frequencies. And also I have a gain output here so I can make everything louder. So normally I mix the multiband compressor with a limiter. But the most important of that video today is you have audio effects and you don't need Fairlight to do simple audio effects. When you go to the inspector, you will always find here the second part is audio. And also if we select the track now, you will see here on the effects, we have those two audio effects and we can just select them here. You can even come back in here if you click the settings, you see your limiter or come in here, you see your multiband compressor. And so all of the effects are sitting here under audio. If you work in the edit page, it's kind of the same here. You have the effects, but instead of having this on the top, you have it here on the side. You have your audio transitions and you have your audio effects and they're all sitting here as well. You can make favorites. So basically, let's say you're working with the reverb all the time. You can click the star here and it comes to your favorites. So you see already I have the multiband compressor and the limiter. And if you don't like something, you can just, just hit the star again, it's gone. Or if you, for example, here in the cut page under favorites, if there's something in you don't want, like here the limiter, I can just click this or go back here, find the limiter and click it. And I'll show you one more thing that's pretty cool. So for example, I have the limiter and the multiband compressor added to my whole track. And so what you also can do, all the settings that you do here, so let's say whatever you do here, you, you change that, you change that, whatever, you can save this as a preset by just sitting here the plus, and then you can say, yeah, blah, blah, blah. It's my new preset. I did the same for my own here, for example, Daniel's voice. I always use this for my voice. And then for example, in the limiter, you can do the same. And here I have something called minor three. When I have a new track, I can simply just add those and add my favorites and my presets and it's done. It's a fast way of applying the same adjustments that you do all the time. So like I said again, in this video, the most important that you have to know is you don't need the Fairlight page to do basic audio editings. You have an audio tab for every clip. You can do a couple of things in here, like for example, the voice isolation dialogue leveler that you can activate to make your voice more better. Those are AI tools. The voice isolation only comes in the studio, but the dialogue leveler, you have it in the free version. And if you activate them, the only thing you can do is change this one here. Or for example, for the voice, voice isolation, the amount, and you have to play around a little bit. It depends on your audio to make it nice. And then on top here under effects, you can add audio effects to your tracks as well and manipulate your audio there. So this is just a basic overview, not going into deep because mo many people still believe today that you can't even do any audio in DaVinci Resolve because the Fairlight page is broken. 
but it's not. You can do a lot of stuff with the basic features inside here using the effects. I hope you liked this video. If yes, hit like, subscribe, ding a ding in the bang bang gong, and we we'll see us in the next video. I'm Daniel. Bye.